See over here, I got this loaf of bread, right? And I usually leave a loaf of bread right beside my toaster. And I've noticed at night that there's always a small hole over here and missing bread. And this has been about the third loaf that this has happened. So I suspect I got a mouse that is hiding up here, eating my bread. Now to verify this, what I'm gonna do is set up this camera from Amazon. It's called the Blink Mini. It's an indoor camera and it has motion detection. So what I'm gonna do is set it up, face this loaf right over here, and see if in fact a mouse is coming up, skirting over here and eating my bread. Woke up this morning, sure enough, there was a mouse on there. I got the footage from the Blink indoor camera. The mouse was nibbling, here's the evidence, on my bread. So now the next step is, now that I know there's a mouse, it's deciding where it's coming from. So I removed this kickboard, and I saw some rat poo down here. So they're probably coming into this crack all across here. There's some more. Kind of see over there. I think that's actually the area of where they're coming in. So what I'm going to do is use this stuff and squirt it in there. It's going to be a big stretch, but I should be able to do it. So let's take a look. It's not a pretty job. It's hard to get into the cracks, but it looks like it's sealed. It's gonna take about eight hours to cure. I'll set the camera up and we'll see if there's any mice coming in, but hopefully this does the trick. So I installed the camera underneath the kickboard to see if I could show you. I could kind of see it right there. And I've been watching this mouse over the last couple of days. And what I've noticed is that it's coming underneath here. And what I'm gonna have to do today is pull this out, pull the kickboard off and see if it's coming in from the back over there. Okay, I took the dishwasher out and here's the problem folks, right there. When I did this reno, Basically, we drilled a hole, the power was coming there, it was too high, so I just cut a slot for it to go to the bottom. And I never filled it in, and that is how the mouse has been coming in all this time. So the last thing to do is to install this steel wool and put it inside that gap like I did right over here. And so that ensures that the mouse, it doesn't like to chew through that, so it won't touch that on the other side. And to fill this hole, I'm just gonna use some more of that insulating foam. And because you can only use this can once, I kind of just went heavy duty. And that's because I was gonna cut it down flat anyways. But I wanted to make sure that that entire gap from that slot that I cut out was completely filled so the mouse couldn't come back. And there it is. And now I just have to push the dishwasher back. My kitchen is now secure. And I know that I can finally leave my bread right beside the toaster and not have to worry about having a mouse in my house.